for watching my videos. Today, I'm going to talk about uh, one of important conventions in tensor calculus, and it is Einstein summation convention. Einstein uh, presented this convention uh, around 1916, about 100 years ago. Um, Einstein says, I have made a great discovery in mathematics. Uh, I have suppressed the summation sign every time that the summation must be made over an index which occurs twice. This simple statement is very useful in uh, relative general rel relativity theorem uh, or uh, in different uh, continuum mechanic, uh, mechanics applications. Uh, let's start the introduction. Einstein's summation convention uh, it is presented to simplify expressions, mathematical expressions. This is our final goal. We have uh, to check three uh, conditions or three rules. Uh, pay attention that uh, when we use indices in tensor algebra or in index notation, we have two kinds of uh, indices. Uh, the first type is the repeated indices and the other is the non-repeating indices. The other name for the repeated indices is the dummy uh, indices. Okay, and uh, when the dummy variable uh, appears in integration, when we have uh, the, an integration of a function, uh, the t, uh, t here is a dummy variable, so you can easily replace it with any other uh, symbol. For example, this is equal to f x b x. This is the definition of a dummy variable. So when uh, we use the index notation or the tensor notation, the repeated indices are sum over uh, that repeating uh, variable. For example, when I have AI, AI, uh, product of two similar uh, vectors, since the indices are uh, identical, so this uh, can be expanded using the summation symbol. This is equal to the summation of AI and AI I from 1 to 3 in 3 dimensional space. So, if I expand the first equation, I have A11 plus A22 plus A3. This is the summation rule of Einstein. It's very helpful, as I told you. Uh, Einstein uh, himself claims that it's a great discovery in mathematics. Uh, again, let me read it. I have suppressed the summation sign. I have omitted the, uh, the summation sign. This is the summation sign. Uh, everywhere, every time that the summation must be made over an index which occurs twice. This is the Einstein's uh, summation convention. The next rule is the, uh, each index appear at most uh, twice in any each index appears at most twice in any term. For example, uh, pay attention to this expression. Uh, I have a second order tensor and two vectors or two first order uh, tensors uh, plus again a vector. Uh, here I have mij, uj, vj. So you can see that uh, j appears in this expression in three places. So this is not allowed based on the rules of the Einstein summation convention. So each index appears at most twice in any, uh, in any term. I, and the third one, identical, non-repeating indices uh, is required. Or the non-repeating indices should be identical. For example, again, look at this one. I have a third order tensor uh, multiplied by first order tensor plus a, a second order tensor. Uh, we have k here. k is uh, a repeating variable. So this uh, term should be expanded based on the summation rule uh, and should be written um, <clears throat> as a sum of three uh, terms in three-dimensional space. k is a repeating index, okay, or dummy index. i appears here and here, so i is a non-repeating variable, all right? Uh, and we have j here. And 
we, you can't find any other j in this relation. So j is a non-repeating index, and uh, why is uh, and the third rule is violated. Uh, non-repeating indices are not identical because p here is a non-repeating index of the second term, and j is the non-repeating index of the first term, which are not identical. So this is not allowed. Here you see uh, we have i as a non-repeating variable or non-repeating index, but j appears three times, which, uh, which the second rule is violated. Okay, based on the sum uh, Einstein summation rule, uh, as I told you, you can expand this term in three-dimensional space. The other one is the product of two second-order tensors, AIK and AIJ. Here, K and J are non-repeating uh, indices, and I obeys the summation rule. So the result is a second-order tensor, and should be written like this. You, uh, summation uh, sign appears here from 1 to 3 in three-dimensional space, A, I, K, and H. So we suppress the summation sign uh, when two <coughs> indices are identical. And the third example is M, I, J, V, J. This is, a pro this is the product of a second-order tensor and a vector. So again, you see uh, one non-repeating index i and one dummy index or repeating index. So the result of this product is a vector or a first-order tensor, and we have to add the summation over j from one to three. This is the dot product of a vector and a tensor. So easily you can expand any other expression uh, in tensor algebra. Based on uh, based on the repeating or repeated variables, uh, identical indices and non-repeating indices.